Let's take a closer look at the Ahsoka Tano Cos Baby Bobblehead by Hot Toys. Villa Veracino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and thanks for visiting the Villa Veracino YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Ahsoka Tano Cos Baby Bobblehead by Hot Toys. I've recently opened up the Boba Fett and Bo-Katan Cosbaby figures from the same line and I'm just so very much enjoying the detail and the style and the cute aesthetic. Now it's time to open the Ahsoka. So I bought these ones a little while ago and unfortunately they've been in storage. I was trying to find space for them. I've cleared it out now so now's the time to get them out of the box and on display and I cannot wait. So before I open it up let's take a closer look at the packaging. On the front we have the Star Wars logo, the title Ahsoka Tano, Cos Baby Bobblehead and we can see we have the Hot Toys logo and the Cos Baby logo here. So there is a nice big clear window to show the figure inside but we do have the sort of black printed lines here on the clear plastic so it does obscure largely mostly just the face of Ahsoka is visible it's a little harder to see some of the other details in there so I really do think these do look better once you get them out of the packaging and on display so moving on now here we get a little bit of a better look of the figure inside we can see that this is the live action version of Ahsoka from the Mandalorian and here she is wielding her two white lights sabers we can see her live action costume here and that brown headband very pretty I love this cute style of course it is sort of a little bit cutesy like the Funko pop vinyl range there is a bit of similarity here but they are quite unique and very very different particularly in the face uh, sculpts we can see it also says Ahsoka Tano Cosby 865 Cosbaby Bobblehead on the back we have a lot of warning and caution basically says that if you get a damaged box they won't replace it only if your item is damaged inside and that this is suitable for ages 15 and up this is intended for adult collectors definitely not for children under three years old we can see the Disney Plus logo and the Mandalorian series logo there because this is from that Disney Plus series on the underside we have more copyright information we can see the Hot Toys logo and some of their social media accounts there so you can tag them and follow their product lines on social media the last side just has Ahsoka Tano next to that window the Star Wars logo and the very top has a silver foil Star Wars logo on that clear plastic top window so there is quite a lot of plastic between the outside and the figure inside they're well protected in there but I think now is the time to finally get her out I can't wait she looks so cute in there I want to see all of the details so I'm going to cut the sellotape here on the top uh, flap here and hopefully this won't be too hard to get out I do like to keep the packaging as best I can for my Star Wars collectibles so let's pull out the tray and we've got an interesting sort of uh, two-tone uh, insert here there's a little bit of blue and it kind of fades up to silver there in the back couldn't quite see that behind Ahsoka that was really really pretty I'm just going to put that box out of the way and now we can see that we have two plastic trays holding the figure in place so I'm going to lift that top tray and we can see the figure inside oh she looks adorable okay and she just slides out I like it when collectibles don't have to be wrestled with to get them out of their plastic it also means that you can put them back in if you need to transport them or put them away in storage for a little bit it's just always nice so now we can take a closer look I think she's so cute obviously I could see the face design through the packaging but now we get a clearer look at all of the other details so let's take a closer look first things first again we have a little bit of a similarity to the Funko Pop vinyl Star Wars range we have a circular black base this one has a cutout and a nameplate that says Ahsoka Tano and Star Wars printed here on the top which is quite nice there then of course we have the figure itself now she is permanently attached to the base we can see the copyright information there for Lucasfilm and Hot Toys on the underside and one thing about Hot Toys 
Their details are always really well done. I absolutely adore their line of 12 inch Star Wars figures. Wish I owned more but they are pricey for us here in New Zealand so it's fun that we've got some other items from Hot Toys to be able to collect at a cheaper price range. In terms of what these retail for in New Zealand they are approximately twice the price of a Funko Pop Vinyl standard figure so a little bit more but you certainly do get that kind of Hot Toys quality I find with the ones that I have in my collection. So we have this really cool action stance for Ahsoka with her two white or clear lightsabers held here. I like the detail here. There's a really interesting sort of metallic finish to her forearm armor here. We've got a bright silver for her lightsaber hilt going into her blades there. And again here on the other side, I love that bright silver. Really nice. And we can see some more of that forearm armor there and her gloves. On the back we can see her costume details as we see here in the Mandalorian. She has a bobblehead so I can tip her just a little bit. We can see that really fine detail of her belt with these little silver buttons, the little straps and everything going on there beautifully painted. And we can see that same metallic used on her boots here. That's really nice. And of course we've got her iconic beads hanging from her belt here on her side. Lovely little silver dots. It's a little hard to show her belt from the front because of the, just the scale of her head here. But we can see lovely and neatly painted. Not too much other detail going on on the chest because it is so hidden under there. We can see a little bit of that sort of crisscross on her armbands there on the underside. Very, very nice. That's sculpted in. And it's also repeated on her other side, but it's a little bit hard. It's a very dark part of the figure there. Now, of course, this is a bobblehead. She doesn't move a lot um, because her uh, Togruta head tails are kind of going to hit into her arm here. So technically it's a bobblehead, but she's not doing a lot of bobbling really. So she's got a very unique sort of shaped face. This is of course a little bit more of that sort of chibi style with the big sort of animated eye style which is quite different to Funko Pop Vinyl and when you compare other helmeted figures it's less noticeable because there's no eyes on the helmets but for Ahsoka we really get the different style and how very different this is going to be to a lot of other uh, American company products. I really think that's super cute. So we've got her brown headpiece here with the silver dome details there. We've got her lovely orange face markings and blue eyes. Little bit of lipstick here. Very cute. And of course we've got her blue and white Togruta Montreal or head tails here. Very, very cute. We can see that we have a little bit of a seam line as expected. This is a very large component. There is going to be uh, some multi parts there to get all of these curves together. Really, really nice paint. We can see how well that uh, striping goes over the seam lines here and on this side as well. Like that's just really, really nice. That's all really nicely lined up there. It doesn't, doesn't look clunky. Very nice. I think she is absolutely adorable. I think this is such a fun Ahsoka pose as well with her double bladed because of course with two lightsabers you can just do some really cool stances. I love the details on this, the pose, the face is so different to other collectibles I have on my shelf. I'm always looking for more live action Ahsoka pieces to add to my collection and I'm so happy I finally have this one out of her box. It definitely does look better than the way she was trapped under all of that plastic in her box. I think she looks just a lot cooler to add to my display shelf out like this. So for a little bit of comparison, I'm just going to bring in my other one that I recently unboxed, which is the Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian. And you can see the different sort of face design is very quite evident. This one does look a little bit more akin to a Funko Pop vinyl sort of with the big helmet oversized compared to the body. We know that Funko also uses some, you know, clearer components from time to time to do some sort of interesting poses in that. But you can really see how different the Ahsoka one looks to the sort of classic Funko that we 
are very well familiar with if you are a collector. So there, that's really fun. Of course the Ahsoka is a little shorter. She has got her legs further apart so she's a little bit more of a crouched pose and Bo-Katan is actually raised off the ground here with her jetpack sort of raising her up so she looks a little bit taller but overall I think these look really cute lined up on a shelf together very matchy matchy in terms of style aesthetic I think they look really cute I've definitely got some more from this line on my wish list now that I've been able to see these ones out I picked them up a while ago and I'm really kicking myself that I didn't get them out of the box at the time they definitely do just look just so much better out and fully on display so cute I absolutely love this one yes definitely need to add more hot toys cos babies to my collection so there you go that was my unboxing of the Mandalorian series version of Ahsoka Tano from the cos baby line by hot toys I really like it the paint job is just absolutely immaculate and you look at those eyes it's just fantastic I love the pose the details it captures Ahsoka really nicely so cute I cannot wait to add this one to my Ahsoka collection shelf she's absolutely adorable so thank you so much for watching I'll have some of my other Star Wars Cos Baby unboxing videos linked down below do subscribe if you enjoy Star Wars unboxings we've got plenty more to come very soon so do subscribe if you want to follow our Star Wars unboxing adventures Catch you on the next one, and as always, may the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos, and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.